welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be filming a vlog style video. Um, I haven't done a vlog in a long time, so hopefully you guys don't mind that I'm just getting back into it. Um, there might be like a lot of issues maybe with this vlog, but I will try my best. So right now we're in my new bedroom. This is the new house and um, yeah, nothing really in here. <laughs> um, it's really messy in the back. I haven't made the bed, but I mean like, I don't make the bed on a daily basis. I don't think people make their beds on a daily basis. Maybe some people do, like my parents-in-law do, but I don't, I don't have time for it. So it's just kind of left in a mess right now. Um, we don't have a lot of furniture in here yet because we're probably looking to renovate next year. So there's no point in really getting furniture or try to furnish the place because everything is going to change. And there's still a lot of things that I haven't decided if we're going to change or not. So yeah, right now everything is just kind of you know, a mess. So the other news I wanted to share with you guys and um, some of you guys might know, but probably not. Um, but I am second time pregnant and <laughs> we're pregnant right now at seven months. So two more months and I should be giving birth. I'm very excited that um, everything is like finally done and just two more months and then I will be I will be done this pregnancy and hopefully there's no more pregnancies in the future. I think having two kids is definitely more than enough. Today I'm just wearing something really casual because I'm going to be in the house for most of the day and then at night we're probably going to go out. <laughs> Yesterday I went and got my pot from my office and I'm actually moving out of my office so everything has to go and I got these um, fake plants and I thought it looked pretty nice in the space. I mean like this chandelier probably has to go and it would look nicer and this is like the breakfast area that I'm currently <laughs> staying in and working in so I'm in here like all the time but I thought this was pretty nice to have a nice addition so this is the bag that i've been using recently i don't know if i want to take it out today because it's raining really really badly um but i've been using this and i wanted to show you guys this uh strap that i got from my kelly so this is my kelly 28 in the gold this one i actually haven't been using for like years after i got it and at one point in time i was like okay maybe i need to let it go sell it and then one day i came across these straps on taobao and i got myself this shorter strap i think this was like maybe a hundred dollars canadian and it's a wider shorter strap and i think you got you guys can buy them at the hermes store but it's like a thousand something canadian if you buy it at the hermes store so it's much cheaper to like get it from other sources and after i got the strap on my bag i've actually been using this bag so much so versus the long like the long thin strap that came with the bag i think this shorter wider strap just makes the bag so much nicer maybe i'll show you guys how it looks after i get changed for later when we go out um, but i just like it so much better and it kind of shortens the length and makes this bag more like um more like a mid-length bag um, when you wear it on your shoulder versus before where you have the small strap it would make it like um, a hip length bag
our first stop was the Gucci store and I took a look at some of their clothing. A lot of their pieces are actually really colorful, which is not really suitable for my everyday life. So this was the piece that I was kind of eyeing on. I thought it would be cute for everyday wear, but I think it's a little bit too expensive for everyday wear, so we decided to pass. And then I found these cute sunglasses, super wide and very vintage looking. I thought these were pretty cool. I decided to try on this hat, and E was very not pleased in the bag and these sunglasses. I thought they looked okay for my face shape. Clearly, first time filming, I was too busy looking at myself and wasn't really paying attention to the camera. I mainly wanted to try on this hat that I saw someone wearing at dinner. I thought it was really cute. I'm really bad at the camera, clearly, and he has taken over control of the camera. It's a little bit big on my head, and I think the monogram might not work well for me. We went to Dior and I saw this really nice suit. I thought it would look good on E, but I mean like, he says he doesn't really need suits. Um, so we decided to look around to see the other clothing pieces. He was kind of looking at this coat, but it wasn't really coat season yet. So I think maybe in the winter season, it would make more sense. Other than that, the only piece that I actually liked at Dior was this um, quartery like jacket, kind of like a denim jacket, I would say, with Dior pattern on it. And then I found another suit jacket that I thought would look nice. I really like the color, um, but he's not a suit person. We went to look at the women's Dior collection. So this was the most popular um, sweater right now and it has these like ruffle fluffy sleeves which may not work for me because I have really wide shoulders. The other thing I really really love is this pleated skirt but I think the pleating on the top might make my torso look really wide so it might not work either. Plus it's like $4,000 or $6,000 for that skirt which is pretty ridiculous. I decided to go look at bags and bags was amazing. So they have this new tweed collection. I decided to try it on and I decided to try on a few of the um, cute little micro bags. This tweed bag is actually very cute in the Lady Dior size. The mini micro bags are really great for evening occasions, but they are actually quite expensive. They're 6,000 something dollars, which I was surprised by because I didn't know prices went up that much. When I first got my Dior, it was $2,800. And right now they said the classic Dior is around 6,000 something. And the tweed bag I was looking at is 5,500. Well, the rest of these micro special bags are around 6,200 to $6,500. The new Dijoy bag is a little bit big in the tweed version, but they have a micro version which might work better, but not in the tweed style. We went to look at some shoes and there are lots of sparkly shoes on sale. I believe this pair I recommended to you guys uh, a while back. And of course, there are more sparkly shoes. I just can't get over all the sparkly shoes. I love anything with a sparkle. Next, we went to try on Dior shoes. I was looking at these flats. Let me know what you guys think because they are kind of from the past. And let me know if you guys have bought them and what you think of them. I am debating whether I should get it. Um, these new Dior shoes are the ones that everyone has been raving about. It's either you get the pair of Chanel ones that look like this or these Dior sandals. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. We went to LV to try to see this new collaboration bag, but unfortunately they didn't have any. It was coming late May and they only had all the like the Japanese collaboration with the Japanese artists where it's full of dots and pumpkins and things. Our last stop of the day is to go to YSL because I wanted to try on some YSL bags and sunglasses. There was too many people inside and I had to wait. 
So I was very tired standing here, so we decided to leave you. The only bag that kind of caught my eye on display was this large whole bag. That is it for today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.